is uh, some of the uh, uh, other utility enhancements, for example, introduction of fixtures in, uh, in our CAM module. So to demonstrate this, I will go ahead and uh, bring in an example in here, and uh, we'll talk about how we can use fixtures in machining in our CAM product. Now, this is also available both in Visual CAD CAM and Rhino CAM version 2020. Uh, so with this 2020 release, we've introduced the option to define and specify fixtures. So you could uh, double click on fixtures and you can choose uh, fixtures that you'd like to add. So I'm going to select these two in here, right click and hit save. So you notice that I have two different fixture types. So I could select one or more uh, solid geometries as to define as fixtures, or you can define each individual fixture as a separate fixture in here. So once you have these fixtures defined, you can have them uh, account for those when you generate toolpaths in your, uh, in your uh, under the setup in here. So now, right now I have defined these fixtures. I'm gonna go ahead and run a simulation in here. So I'll pick simulate, and you will notice that um, Without these uh, fixtures defined, the toolpath is generated. It's not accounting for the fixtures in here in the simulation. I can also display these fixtures during simulation. So I'm going to go back, double click on the operation, and I'm going to select apply the fixture, generate it, and then go back and rerun the simulation. So as I run the simulation, you will notice that it detects a fixture collision. So I'm going to skip this. So I'm going to ignore the collision. All right. I can also toggle the display of the fixture during the simulation. So again, when I run a simulation, you will notice that it will detect the collision with the fixture. As you can see, the toolpath is running through the fixtures. Now, once I have defined the fixture, Oh, then you can also notice that the the operation itself is flagged with a star uh, that that tells you that the fixtures uh, have been collided. With, uh, the toolpath, I mean, the tool actually collides with the fixtures as it's uh, running through the toolpath. So, so to account for the fixtures, once you've added the fixture to the setup, so you can double click on the setup and you can choose under Select Fixtures tab to add the fixture. And then the next step is to go back and regenerate these operation. So I'm gonna right click, regenerate, and you'll notice that now the toolpath automatically accounts for the fixture so it's not colliding with the fixture anymore. So this can be applied to any operation under the setup as long as you have selected to add the fixture, account for the fixture in the operations.